Hush is a 2016 horror film directed by Mike Flanagan, starring Katie Siegel and John Gallagher Jr. Now why am I talking about this, huh? Well, that would be because this movie did not come out in theaters as far as I know, therefore it has like zero recognition. And that is an injustice, because you should know about this. It was released on Netflix as far as I know, and it is still on Netflix, so you should watch it after this video, obviously. It's like an hour and 20 minutes. And as you all probably know, any movie that's not an animated movie, that is under an hour and a half, probably sucks. Hush, on the other hand, does not. Now the scenario is this, okay? A woman is out in the woods. She lives kind of alone, out in the woods. Not many people around, few neighbors, but you know, she's kind of secluded. And so she's been living out there and well, somebody wants to get in her house. Somebody who likes to hurt people. Sounds unbelievably cliched, right? Ah, but what you don't know is that I left out a very important piece of information. The woman in this, who lives out in the house, played by Katie Siegel, is a deaf mute. Hush! Now most horror movies are absolute trash, but recently there have been some really good ones. Both of the Conjuring movies are awesome. The Babadook and The Gift are all excellent ones. Now just add one more. Hush. Guys, this is a really good thriller. Like a really really good thriller. The whole death mute thing makes it like no other horror movie I've ever seen. There aren't cliche jump scares and the characters aren't stupid. It's far too often in horror movies where they make the main characters, the people you're rooting for, incredibly stupid to the point where they should die because of how stupid they are. But not in Hush, because Katie Siegel's character, the woman, is everything that a female lead should be. She's smart, she's cunning, she's resourceful, she is constantly outthinking the guy outside who's trying to get in. Great female protagonist, and she honestly reminds me of the character in Tin Cloverfield Lane earlier this year, played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who was, in my opinion, the best female protagonist we've had in a long, long time. Because neither in Hush or Tin Cloverfield Lane, Hollywood did not dress up the girls to beat up guys who could obviously beat the crap out of them. No, 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 these characters, they're cool, and they're smart, and they're awesome. And John Gallagher Jr. as the man outside was also really great. He was creepy, you know, I'd, I'd be scared of him if he tried to get into my house. He's one of those killers who doesn't really like to just to kill. He likes to play with his meat. I say that's pretty frightening. However, one thing though did annoy me about John Gallagher's performance. Sometimes when he was trying to uh, be terrifying, he would make a face that I didn't buy. It was, uh, it was this. I'm coming in. That just annoyed me a little bit. But Katie Siegel was really terrific. I mean, she was she was the standout of this movie. I mean, I think this was her first lead role, too. I'm not sure about that. Don't kill me for that. I, I don't know. She was fantastic. I mean, you know, she didn't verbally say anything in this movie because she was playing a deaf mute, and yet her emotions, everything, spoke. But yeah, the movie's full of suspense, very creative with the situations where the whole deaf mute thing really is a hindrance to her. And it's just, it's a great psychological thriller. That is what it is. I it probably won't keep you up at night. I don't get scared when I see home invasion movies or anything like that. I'm afraid of the demons and the ghosts, the demon ghosts and the monkeys with top hats. <laughs> Now that's not to say I'm not scared during these movies, because I absolutely am. However, though, I don't go home and check the closets for, you know, a creepy dude. I check it for a monkey with a top hat and a book. And I also check it for nuns that are dead, but alive. But anyways, without further ado, Hush gets an A. So tell me, have you seen Hush on Netflix? If so, comment below and let me know what you think about it. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel, blah, blah, blah. And never forget the golden rule, okay? Silence is golden. Unless someone is trying to kill you. Then you should probably scream. Call the cops. But at any other time, especially in a movie theater, Hush!